when you log into BetAngel <coughs> version 126 or higher, um, you have a different type of login screen now. You've got all of your usual stuff on here, but you can see here that we've introduced profiles. So you can profile the screen layout and the settings. There's another video which shows you how to do the settings. This video is about the screen layout. When you first start up BetAngel, you'll have the factory default in there. Uh, but subsequent use, you'll, you can pick from these drop-down menus exactly what profile you want to go into. And the advantage of that is that you'll have the ability to, for example, go straight into settings that are perfect for a soccer match, settings that are perfect for um, a tennis match, etc, etc, etc. But once you're logged in and you come to the main BetAngel application, you'll see this drop-down menu here um, underneath this little monitor. Um, this is where I was messing around um, a bit earlier, but um, what we're going to do is create a custom profile for you. And by custom profile, what we mean is a screen layout um, that is suited to a particular type of trading that you want to do. So to start with, I'm the, I've gone into the manual bet area. Now, manual bets in one click are very, very customizable. So what I've done is I've already created here, there's a video on this as well, um, micro charts. And these microcharts, it says microcharts LTP, microcharts last price traded. So you can see here the volume leader has killed Korea Kim and last traded price is 2.24. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undock that and that will become a new area for me. So here is the microcharts. I'm going to uh, pin that to the top and I'm going to put that over here. So what we've got now is microcharts and the ladder interface over here. Now, you saw me drag this across from another screen. Um, all of these apply to as many screens as you've got open. So if you've got four, six, half a dozen, um, all of these settings can apply. So wherever you put this, if I put one right over here and disappear off the left or disappear off to the right, uh, its position will be remembered. So anyway, we've set up the microcharts here, and um, what I'm going to do now is I want to use the whole screen for the ladder, so I'm going to undock the ladder as well. And we can pin that to the top as well. So all of a sudden here, we have this screen set up with a full screen ladder interface and the charts down here. Now, it may be that I actually want to retain some control over elements of things that I'm doing, so what I'm going to do is actually modify the ladder interface to take up most of that screen. Oh, this lovely Windows 7 feature where it maximizes automatically. I'll leave the status bar at the bottom. And then I will just pin that on top from there. So whether you want to um, put something on top of another, whether you want to display and various bits of information, you can start to manipulate the screen and display information um, however you wish. So if I just modify the ladder uh, ever so slightly again, we can display two ladders there. I'll shrink it a little bit more to give us some more room. Uh, we've pinned it to the top. We've got the manual bet uh, screen there, although we were calling this one last traded price charts. But also I could actually bring up um, a Betfair chart and then pin that to the top there or I could bring up well just about anything I want to if I want to make a display custom. Now typically the way I recommend that you do this is if you've got more than one monitor what you should do is undock Betangel, move that out to one side and then get full use of the full height of the screen because obviously you'll be able to do a lot more um, in that scenario. And um, that would also leave us extra room to put additional information on. So if I bring up um, an additional chart such as uh, an advanced chart down here, I'll pin that to the top as well. But what I'll do actually, because you know we're interested in this particular runner here, what I'll do is I'll hide and put that on top there. So all of a sudden we have loads of information and a multitude of ways to set that information up and to display it. So We've got all of that information, uh, we've set out the screen the way that we want to see it, and what we need to do now is go over to BetAngel and save those settings. Now, 
it's easy to do this on two screens because I've got one main trading screen here with all the information that I need and I've got BetAngel on the other screen. So what I'll do just for purposes of demonstration is I'll drag that across, minimize things and bring them all back onto one screen so you can see uh, the scenario. Obviously it would be better if I could just do this on two but the video isn't going to record properly over two. So we've set up our screen and um, if I go to the view area now you can see here we've got load screen layout, reload, delete screen layout, have screen layout, blah blah blah. So what I'm going to do is save this layout as um, my ladder layout and basically that will become available from the drop down menu. So if I want to go to the default screen and I'll just drag this across so you can see because it's defaulted I originally created the default screen on the monitor on my left so it defaulted back to the left. You can see here that it's gone to default and everything's redocked again and if I want to switch to my ladder layout then you can see that everything scoots back to where it was before. Now obviously we minimize these so what I'll do is um, it's remembered to minimize. I will bring these back one by one and what I'm going to do now is save that layout on BetAngel. Now if I go to default whoop, you can see that disappears so what I'm going to do is if I say okay save default on this screen and go to the ladder layout here and you can see BetAngel shot off to the left monitor and the screen repopulated with all of the information that we had before and if I go back to default which you can't see because it's on the left here it's back again so it's that simple to create custom layouts very very simple indeed and the idea behind the custom layouts is that you may want to do a whole manner of different uh, things and you may want to create a custom layout um, that's based around tennis so for example you could bring up tennis trader and set up tennis trader in a certain position on the screen and the, the two ladders to one side however you want to do it but very customizable and you can remember any of the undocked or undockable detail that you have on any of these screens and it will automatically repopulate that and then when you log on next you will see that um, it's available in the drop-down menu so very customizable uh, very useful it should save you a lot of time